and I'm only one in that time, Roma uh, 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 man who was policeman. I am 1997 retired in police agencies like police officers. Since 2003, I start work with OSE mission to Bosnia and Herzegovina. And of course, on beginning, I try to develop to uh, 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 in Christ, capacity of Roma NGOs, how to fight for Roma rights, basic on human rights of Roma. Because in VIH, uh, our database, our uh, NGO database talking about 100,000 of Roma peoples in VIH, but Official census, for example, 1991, talking about 9,000 Roma. Uh, official census for 2013, talking about 12,000 of Roma peoples in VIH. Uh, why so big difference is? I lot of time express and inform that <clears throat> Roma people afraid to declare it like Roma because in the time of second war, in the time of Nazism and the German uh, Hitler's time, uh, in ex-Yugoslavia uh, was uh, uh, nationalistic army Ustash in uh, and they had uh, independent uh, Republic of Croatia in that time. If they meet the Roma people on the street, how Roma people communicate on Roma language, they should have on the place. This afraid existing still today. This is one reason. Second reason is afraid <clears throat> for the social prosperity. You know, uh, maybe since 20 years ago, you can finish university, make doctors, uh, make uh, 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 magistrates. But if you uh, declare it yourself, like Roma, you have problems in your career, in your employment, in your life. Today is something other, but uh, last 10, 15 years, specific after the uh, BIH received uh, visa uh, liber liberalization system, a lot of Roma left Bosnia. They travel and they go to West Europe. Today we have really big, uh, 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 Migration. In the same time, we have a lot of Roma families who are uh, returned from the West Europe countries because Europe countries say the BIH is security state without any any dangerous for living. But economic and social situation is. One other question. For example, uh, before the COVID crisis, 
we have some uh, uh, um, about 10 percent of Roma people employees. Uh, thanks to, to uh, Roma strategies and to Roma action plans for employees, housing, education, and health. And thanks to Roma Decade, Roma Decade was uh, from 2005 to 2015. In that time, uh, it was first time, not only for Roma, it was first time for 12 countries who start the systematic uh, create public politic for Roma in system. And thanks to this uh, Roma decade, we have maybe about the, the 10% employees of Roma population. But after the COVID crisis and pandemic, uh, this number again is returned before, let's say 10 or 15 years ago. A lot of uh, small companies who employ uh, Roma people uh, break the work, blocked the work because economic and social crisis, of course, uh, 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 it's a problem for them to, to keep Roma uh, 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 workers. Now, now we again talking about maybe two or not more than 3% of Roma employers in uh, private and public companies. Uh, our kids is about 65, not more than 70% including school in regular but in regular school. But how we increase the number of the kids in school in parallel way you have increasing number of the Roma kids who left the school because the families travel, because we, I have uh, said, we have big, uh, uh, Big, big, big uh, lefting the 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 BIH. We uh, this migration, of course, is problem. Specific when uh, families be returned from the West Europe to Bosnia, the kids cannot or really, really hard can continue the schools. Uh, also, when we're talking about social and uh, health protection, uh, in BIH we have more than 35% uh, the Roma peoples outside of the system of health and social security. Uh, of course, in the last 10, 15 years, we solved some problems with housing. We built about 1,000 Roma houses, flats, individual and uh, social collective uh, uh, housing. In the same time, I must thanks to the international communities who help us, who help BIH to develop the, the, the strategies and action plans for Roma in this area and uh, to help with the donor's money. Uh, I must tell you that my NGO, Kalisara, 
support everyone for these houses reconstructing and building over the projects, over the, the, the lobbying, over to discussion with uh, majors of the cities. Uh, specific, I have a lot of time speak, uh, speech front of the councils of municipalities. How do we need? A support to solve these problems. In the same time, I talking about 40% uh, Roma peoples who are living in informal settlements in inadequate housing situation, with really poor situation, with electricity, with out water. And without good way. But uh, all these problems, I think we, we can solve if political side solve the problems inside of the political situation. You know, behind uh, a lot of time I said this Frankenstein can countries because we have state level, we have two entities, one district Burchko and in federation, federation of BIH, we have 10 cantons. That means we have uh, uh, 10 plus three, 13 governments and 13 uh, uh, status of each of this uh, 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 institution. You know, if you uh, prepare some concept, some project, you must receive minimum th three signature from separate sides, because uh, uh, we have problem with uh, this uh, structural forms of the state. We have constant people like uh, Bosniak, Croats and Serb who is favorized, who share the all governments on this level. And we have someone, uh, Lady Pashit said and Anwar, said that we uh, have uh, 17, one seven uh, national minorities who is recognized with uh, law of protection and national minority rights. But specific Roma population are in really poor and hard situation because 100 and 100 years, we are under the discrimination in new time, for example, from uh, Dayton Peace Agreement, uh, 1996, we have problem with uh, everyday discrimination, stereotype and prejudices uh, over the Roma. Uh, our media, public and uh, uh, private media, in Christ each day, not only over the Roma, but you know, uh, they in Christ the hate speech. It's more independent. Which which uh, public service you heard, you watch, you reading, because the political uh, keep the this. Uh, our uh, public services of imp information. For example, we you have uh, TV Federation, you have TV Republika Srpska, and you have state TV. Each of these three uh, uh, service is under the sun and of the political side. And how they talking about situation, 
they in same time uh, increase the hate speech. For example, if Roma men or woman make some problem, everyone of this uh, public service is talking like there was a ditch Roma make this, 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 and this. On other side, you cannot hurt that, for example, in Federation public service talking about, you know, Bosniak make some criminal cases or in Republika Srpska, you cannot hurt that Serbs make some, some criminal cases. No, but I thanks really uh, to international government and monitoring system, which they have here in Bosnia. <clears throat> and they make uh, reports, they make uh, uh, proposals, remarks, how to uh, uh, deal with these issues, with separatist issues. Uh, this is the reason why I said, if we in next or in future time uh, solve the problems with political sides, but to be really hard and difficult, we can solve everyone social or economic problems, not only for Roma, for all citizens in the age, but political size is really shared. You have Republika Srpska uh, leaders who are talking about, you know, independency of Republika Srpska from the age. You have for example, uh, uh, Croats had a Z party with Mr. Dragan Chovic, who tried to create third entity. And you have Bosniak party who talking about some uh, 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 some uh, uh, a political system who is not accepted for Republika Srpska or Serbs and Croats people. In this situation, because I am Roma, I cannot apply for presidency position. We in VIH have three presidency position, not one president, but we have three uh, uh, presidency position. One for Bosniak, second from, for uh, Croats, and third for Serbs. We, national minority, uh, we don't have rights to apply for this position. Also, in parliament, BIH parliament, we have two homes, one representatives and one home of the peoples. We, for example, home of the peoples oblige only participants from the Bosniak, Croat, and Serbs with five members. We, Roma, and other national minorities, and citizens of the BIH who don't declare it like member of the uh, constituent people or national minority also cannot apply for this position. That was a reason why I make appeals against the Bosnian constitution and election law front of the European Human Rights Court. These appeals I make 2006 and uh, the uh, European Court for Human Rights Grand Chamber of this court make decision that VIH have discriminatory constitution and 
election law regarding the national minorities and put the obligation to Bosnia and Herzegovina to harmonize constitution and election law with European Convention of Protection of Human Rights. What that mean? That mean that BIH must have one a new constitution which don't recognize people on ethnicity level and must provide with election law rights for everyone citizen of BIH like equal to participate on all level institution position. A lot of time I talking about citizen uh, cons constitution and citizens states, like everyone member of the BIH have rights to apply for this position to be equal with all other peoples in BIH, citizens. But these political leaders from specific, these three nationalistic party, SDR, HDZ, SNSD, will not, they don't will uh, 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 to have constitution like citizen constitution or state citizen state like we have in Europe with full democracy system with more uh, equalities uh, for everyone's citizen. A uh, lot of time I wrote about this problem and in same time I make criticize to European Union and Council of Europe because human rights court is mechanism of this uh, uh, institution, specific Council of Europe. Uh, 2014, that was uh, only one reason or problem which uh, BIH is not implement to uh, receive the candidate status for EU membership. That was only one request from EU. Now, today we have 14. request from EU to receive the uh, candidate status for EU membership. Uh, I criticize international community because in goodwill to help BIH political side to solve this problem, EU invite only representatives of Bosniak, Croats and Serbs. never invite us like member of representatives uh, national minorities in BIH. Specific us people in BIH, uh, we have five cases in the same uh, 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 site. For example, my case is uh, Sadich Finci case because uh, the, the Human Rights Court, uh, my colleague Spinci uh, appeals put together with mine because it's a simple case. He is Jewish. And we have five cases uh, uh, against the, the Bosnian Constitution and election law. Uh, I said, EU and Council of Europe 
never call us on discussion. Last year and beginning of this year, we have a lot of discussion uh, with med mediation uh, from the State Department, US State Department and EU Parliament. And I wrote open letter with critic to this uh, 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 administration. Why you ever don't call us to speak with us? What we thinking about solution for uh, 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 for this situation? After my uh, open letter, the US administration and EU administration, specific EU parliament, call myself, call my colleague Finci, uh, Dr. Pilav and Lady Azra Zornic to discuss with us. And in this discussion, I see that really a poor power of these mediators from the uh, State Department administration and EU, EU administration was not, uh, how to say, not not with competency to discuss about this problem. <laughs> yeah, because you know, in political side, you have uh, everyone the information that someone of them invite possibility of the war, new war in Bosnia. Everyone, uh, they you have uh, peoples who talking about uh, independency from the BIH or third entity, and in this situation, these mediators from State Department and EU was not uh, 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 with competency to discuss with them. And now is uh, 20, 22 years. We have this year election, assembly, uh, uh, parliamentary election uh, with old constitution and with old election law. Uh, this election in October to be fourth election without implementation of the uh, uh, court decision in a discriminatory area with discriminatory constitution and election law. In this discussion, how to create some amendments or on uh, constitution, how to create some amendments of the election law, I prepared myself, prepared the, the, the uh, document with my proposal how to change or develop with amendments constitution and election law. And I have a lot of meetings with uh, political leaders party, from everyone political leaders party. We have about, uh, let's say in this uh, next election, we have 57 political parties who apply for uh, uh, election. I 
had meetings with maybe 20, 25 leaders of these political parties, main political parties. Of course, with these three nationalistic leaders party, it's true that uh, Mr. Dodik from uh, Serbs parties don't uh, uh, give me opportunity to meet, meet him and to discuss with him. It's true also that he is only one person in 2013 who invite me and my colleague Jakob Finci to discuss about this. Maybe this is a reason because we know what he uh, thinks and what is his proposal. Actually, my proposal is to change uh, the constitution in, uh, 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 with things that BIH is democratic, social, state, all citizens and peoples in BIH. Why citizens, why peoples? Because if we uh, uh, thinking only about citizens, states, this can uh, 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 invite maybe new board. Uh, because, you know, uh, uh, peoples is collective rights, Bosnia, Croats and Serbs. And if you uh, 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 delete these collective rights from the constitution, this is, I'm sure, 100% new war. And this is the reason why I invite citizens and people's rights, individual and collective rights. And I try to make balance how to protect individuals and collective rights. In my proposal, how to uh, uh, change this constitution with amendments and the election laws, I propose this balance. It's really long document to explain you now, but in basic, a lot of political parties, specific uh, uh, opposition parties, left orientation parties support my, my, my proposals. Uh, only the right orientation parties like these three, I call them nationalistic party, SDR, HDZ, and SNSD, uh, they don't uh, support my proposal. I must, I must also tell you that uh, biggest, biggest, uh, uh, how to say, commentary, comments, and uh, without support. Uh, coming from the HDZ party. You know, the uh, Serbs and Bosniak party, party, maybe they have some comments, some changes, because we have uh, three levels of the institution. We have two uh, parliamentary home, for a representation of these uh, political parties and um, in uh, question of the home of the peoples, they have some uh, proposals how to change. But uh, for example, in uh, this home we have participant from Bosniak, Croats and Serb, five members of each of the, these uh, uh, categories. And my proposal was to uh, establish, because they, 
are on uh, three clubs, Bosniak, Croats, and Serbs clubs. And I propose to establish fourth club for national minorities and citizens who don't declare like constant people or national minorities peoples. And in same time, I propose four members in this uh, club, national of minorities, because uh, three times five is 15 plus four from national minorities and citizens, it's 19 person who can make decision with uh, 51% of voters. You understand me, I hope. Uh, but this is not good proposal for, for HDZ and uh, in some ways not good proposal for these two uh, 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 ethnicity, Bosniak and Serbs, because they will keep or in the hand, you know. In VIH is uh, politic. For example, like this. I am the best. My people is the best. All other people is poor, is the bad. They will kill us. They is exclude us, you know. And they, they, they make uh, angst, how to say, uh, 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 big worries for the peoples. And people, a lot of people believe them that, for example, I'm Serbs. And I talking in front of my people, Bosniak is bad peoples. With Bosniak, we cannot leave. Or I am Bosniak, the Serbs is not cooperative peoples. They will go to Serbia, they will left us. And the uh, same things is uh, from the, from the uh, uh, all three sides. And they keep the peoples in the hand, you know, but I think this year is coming the, the election. And I think because BIH is really hard, political, social, and economic situation that citizens of the BIH is going to vote for some alternatives, parties and alternatives solutions. With this situation, with these political uh, leaders who is, for example, uh, under the, the uh, State Department, US State Department sanction and some uh, leaders are from uh, under the sanction from Great Britain or German or uh, I don't know from some European countries sanction. You know, I hope that this year we really must have a citizen who go to vote for some alternative for normal life, let's say. Thank you. I am open for your question. Uh, thank you. Of uh, Rumas in Bosnia Herzegovina and uh, the uh, the uh, constitution and electional uh, laws which do not uh, treat uh, minorities on an equal status. And uh, you mentioned about your proposal, how this situation can be rectified. So uh, you also mentioned about the role of uh, US and EU in uh, trying to meditate and work out a workable uh, system. 
So uh, now uh, I'll uh, request uh, the, the people who are attending the uh, seminar. If anybody wishes to have any comment or any questions, any clarifications on the presentation made by uh, Mr. Satya. Yeah, anybody wishes uh, to take the first uh, comment or first question? I don't heard him. <clears throat> yeah. I don't, I don't uh, see anyone uh, taking the first initiative. Rajesh ji, may I? Yeah. Yeah, Okay. Yeah, please. Thank you so much, Dervo ji, for, uh, thank you, Dervo, for um, your very, you know, passionate explanation. And it's uh, a little, it's, depressing and worrying to hear about the situation, but your effort and your proposals, um, you know, I hope they will make an impact. And so in that context, uh, since the ambassador is here, I would be curious to also know from, that, from her perspective, uh, how this is received, how the proposal is received and what action might be taken um, as suggested by Dervo. So this question is actually for the ambassador, madam. Uh, Unita Ji, this is not uh, the, uh, the uh, representative of the uh, embassy. Let me just say representative of the embassy. By uh, the consular from the uh, embassy. Of... Mm -hmm. Yes, so the representative. Yes, as you know, in Bosnia, it's very, very uh, difficult uh, uh, system of uh, decision making. And the embassy is working just in accordance with law, rules, and instructions received from the ministry. There are so many levels of uh, making decisions. For example, parliamentary assembly is in charge to accept or to reject this proposal. I personally fully support the proposal of Mr. Dervos but it's not in our charge to approve or to re reject. It's uh, in, in the hands of political leaders, political parties. So embassy from this side cannot do anything. We are government officials and we deal in accordance with instructions, law and rules. Do you understand? Yes, but is, since you support it, uh, is there the possibility of spreading that support and you know adding some more support to this? You know, me personally, as individuals and person, I completely support his uh, proposal because uh, uh, you must know in Bosnia and Herzegovina regarding the constitution, people of Bosnia and Herzegovina didn't accept this constitution. In accordance with Dayton Peace Agreement, there is constitution who clearly states that Bosnia and Herzegovina is state of constitution, people, Serbs, Croat, and the Bosnia, without mentioning citizens. What is the main uh, rights of, of every person? And so I think international community must put uh, more efforts on political leaders in Bosnia and Herzegovina for changing uh, and to make some amendments to the constitution. Because we people in Bosnia, we are not creators of this constitution. It was a war in Bosnia and Herzegovina and uh, in Dayton. Dayton Peace Agreement 
at that time brought uh, peace and we were very happy that finally after four years there was uh, a peace and after that after many years we recognized many many disadvantage of this uh, constitution because it is in favor of ethnical ethnical Bosniak Serbs and the Croats. Okay, yeah, thank you for explaining the history. And so I guess it's high time that some amendments were made. Yes, yeah. I hope. I think so. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Dervo, for all your efforts. Thank you. Nice to care. Nice to care, Pei. Yeah, Mr. Puya, you wanted to ask something? Yes, uh, thank you. I just want to say, firstly, thank Mr. you, Mr. Major. Uh -huh. Sorry, sorry. Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you, Mr. Rajesh Sachdeva and Mr. Nayaran Kumar, Mr. Anwar, for this pro program. And of course, thank you, Mr. Uh, Devo. Nice to get Miroplar, Mesom Puya, Mesom Qatar, Iran. I am an Iranian Roman. And uh, very proud to hear what you're telling me about uh, the, our people in Bosnia, our brothers and sisters in Bosnia. My question is, is a very brief question. I know the situation in Europe. It's a very, how can I say, um, our situation, you know, I know that uh, many, many, I respect all the politicians in Europe, regardless of our friends or their, our foes. But the Europeans are known to be very diplomatic. Even with uh, many, many things, uh, unfortunately, 800 years, I don't know, is not enough for us to be recognized as citizens of Europe or in Middle East and Asia. That's where my people. So I just want to say that the Bosnian Roma, uh, do they have credential? Do they have papers? Do they have passports? Do they have these basic rights? And uh, please let me know. Uh, thank you very much. Polycraft to Kemiroprar. Nice to hear. Uh, da, uh, yes, we have passport, we have documents. Uh, before 10, 15 years, or maybe 10, 15 years after the war, a lot of Roma peoples, uh, Roma kids, were not not registered in birth certificate. Uh, and we make uh, some projects and I maybe you can say we solve this problem. Maybe only 17, not more than 100 people without documents are coming from uh, Kosovo refugees. It is difficult to solve this problem because the, the Roma people from Kosovo after, in the war in Kosovo, they come to Bosnia without any documents and it's too hard to, to uh, 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 find way how to solve these problems. Uh, Nejo, uh, my, our colleagues Nejo Naziri can talk about this problem more, but uh, Whatever, I have passport, I have uh, my ID cards, I have all documents, like everyone citizen in BIH, but rights is the other question. Uh, specific political rights, you know. Uh, in Bosnia, in last two uh, election uh, on municipality level, we provide some Roma people who is consular in councils of municipalities. Uh, we have four independent members. We have nine members, uh, like members of some political parties. But this is, this is highest level where we participate. My uh, 
case, my uh, court decision will provide more rights and more more uh, political rights for not only for Roma, it's for national minority rights and for the people who is not declared like Bosniak Serbs and Croats. In the same time, you have, for example, Bosniak peoples in Republika Srpska, who is also discriminated, or and uh, uh, Croats in Republika Srpska. In uh, Federation, this type of discrimination you uh, have under the uh, uh, Serbs in Federation, you know, but specific national minority rights and uh, rights of the citizens of BIH, it's whatever or uh, all BIH level under this discrimination. Uh, there was much uh, attacks towards individual Roma in Serbia. There was uh, neo-Nazi groups in Serbia attacking Roma. Yeah, Is it Serbia, 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 no? Serbia uh, Kosovo, Kosovo, yeah. <laughs> Uh, sorry, just a moment. Uh, in Serbia, living maybe uh, 500,000 of the Roma, they are not, thanks to God, they are not under the war like we in Bosnia or like Roma in Kosovo. And uh, they make schools, you know, they make political parties. Thanks to God, but situation in Bosnia and Kosovo is other. Thank you. Maybe some other time moments we can discuss. We, uh, I uh, will meet you in face and discuss. No, thank you for the question. Thank you very much, Palikravtuke. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. So now I think may I request Mr. Naziri if we can make some observation on the uh, question raised by Mr. Puya. Merci, merci, Tetris Rajesh. Gospodin, sedi ću ako možda prevedite posle na englesku, mali rezime da prevedite da će engleski ne govorim. Ja bih vas zamolio, ja pozdravom gospođu Amasadorku i gospodina Amasadoru Mora Mohameda Čengića. Ja bih ću obratio u vezi Ne, nisam sve razume engleski, ali nešto se jesam, a? Taj kontekst, ali pošto ja radim i živim u Francuskoj, radim na sudu za izbjeglice, primetio sam da ima veliki problem. Veliki problem u tome što pojedini Romi iz Bosne i Hercegovine, pogotovo i Srbije, Makedonije, Crnogore, tako reći izbjeglice u Slavi, imaju problema sa papirima. Znači, državljanstvo nemaju i ne mogu nikako da se upišu knjigu državljana. Ali malo da prevedem. I'm sorry because I must translate for him. Also my English language is not so good, but I try to translate him. My colleague Nezir Nejo said that he know, he work actually for refugees from Kosovo in French, and uh, he have information from ex-Yugoslavia countries that a lot of peoples from ex-Yugoslav, Roma peoples from ex-Yugoslav uh, countries have problem with the birth certification, registration. Uh, oh, okay, a lot of... Nejo, uh, I will just say something to explain. A lot of... A lot of uh, Roma women, mothers, born kids in the house. And it's to really, really difficult in X period, X time to be uh, registered these kids in the birth certificate uh, 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 institution because the system was difficult. Uh, one uh, things without uh, health security, every uh, documents you must pay. Uh, for example, uh, Roma mother in a hospital when uh, 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 born uh, kids, 
without uh, health security, she must pay the, the time in a, a hospital. And uh, when you left the hospital with uh, paying these taxes, you cannot receive the, the uh, how to say, pot for that. Uh, but you can a recipient, recipient that you paid, uh, uh, that you born the kids, uh, was the really complicated. But now, for example, in Bosnia is a little bit uh, 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 solved this the problems. We have only, uh, I said, we have problem with uh, Roma people, refugees people from Kosovo. Nejo. Nije problem, nego mislim da je problem u državnim institucijama, u konzularnim odeljenjima. Pošto zakon postoji, znači ume dva svodaka. Ukoliko roditelji bili su državne, dotične države, mogu da vrše upis. Međutim, nije slučaj toga. I recimo svi oni koji su rođeni početkom 90. godina, koji su bili van države, znači izbjegli se proteranje, šta je znam, Jer taj problem imamo svakodnevni. Kao što rekao, kada sam rodom iz Kosovske metrovice sa Kosovi Srbije, živim u Parizu, sad živim u Strasburi i radim na sudu za izbjegli se. I to je činili se i to je istina. Zbog šega, kozula modelja, ne samo Bosne i Hrvatskovine, hoću reći iz bivše Jugoslavije, nemaju ta razumevanja. Znači, postoji zakon kako bi ljudi mogli da uvedu zapisnik u knjige državljena matične knjige. Zašto to se ne primenjuje za romsku populaciju? To je pitanje za gospodinu. Uh, he talking sad... about uh, laws, about the problems, uh, about the administration problems in ex Yugoslavis. But I also must tell you that uh, Roma people are uh, uh, analphabet people. It's really low level of education. Roma people I talking about the Roma in Bosnia, but simple case is in a uh, region uh, with Roma who is low level of the or poor level of education. Uh, they don't use the rights, laws. Uh, for example, in BIH, you uh, today can uh, use everyone uh, uh, social uh, help or assistance for boarding the kids without paying taxes. But you must know how. It's really uh, uh, complicated with the bureaucracy and so. Uh, the case uh, from uh, Roma people from Kosovo is something other. Uh, the uh, lot of people uh, in Kosovo uh, before the war had this problem uh regarding the laws regarding the administration you know uh after the war the survey was this is not gore gospodin izvinjavam se to je veliki problem ja sam rekao malo pred radim na sudu za izbrisanje veliki je taj problem i ljudi koji su napustili državu zbog ist razloga a znači do danas oni nemaju papire oni su uopšte ne vode nigde ne mogu da budu ni apatridi Znači, nego mu nešto mora da se uradi, ja bih to pripunio za moj da postoji zakon kako će biti da dobiju, da budu napravljeni upisani u knjigu državljena. To je moje pitanje, znači. Nenđo talking about the people who is refugees from Kosovo and he have the question how to solve this problem with the Uh, countries where they uh, Roma uh, today accommodate uh, because they cannot provide the, the birth certificate from X countries. Now the new countries cannot make registration of these uh, people and they are uh, actually apartheid. And how to solve this problem? Uh, NATO work in Strasbourg in uh, court with the uh, uh, refugees and on this question, but they don't know how to solve this problem. This problem must be solved in the help with the uh, UN uh, committee or EU Council of Europe, some of this. 
maybe maybe major proposal for you maybe uh, uh, ombudsman can help you i hope that you contact make contact with ombudsman uh in in, in strasbourg or in uh, french and request him to help you dakle traži od ombudsmana zahtjev da ti pomognu da, da riješiš te rješavaš te probleme uh, it's to match these cases you know ja sam to mogu dosi prvi sa razoru pa za to su te te tri države sa kojima ima najviše problema u vezi matične službe uh, nisam spomenuo Kosova da 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 spomenuo sam sve ex jugoslovenske je zemlje to je žalosno to je žalosno da ljudi nemaju papire imaju sa treća generacija dolazi je žalosno da 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 mada postoji ja. zakon i mi treba Thank you very much for your uh, Thank you very much Mr. Nazir for uh, your observation and also answering partly answering to Mr. Kuya's uh, question and uh, uh, since we don't have time so we'll go for some other uh, questions and i see mr uh, prominent uh, uh, in india he would like to make some questions and comments so mr gopnath the floor is yours uh, mr mohammed uh, because while uh, translating your statement the way it said that uh, a large number of roma women are not getting the benefit of uh, social health security so i think he tried to answer it also i just wanted to know whether the health security is not available to the roma people because of their racial uh, background or uh, or it is being deliberately denied to them or they are afraid of the how to avail the benefit of the social security although mr devin has uh, explained something but what is the reason is it any specific reason are they being deliberately and intentionally denied the social security and what are the remedies that are available in that country if someone is denying this kind of a basic uh, health security to minorities who are minuscule minority in that country yes thank you for the question uh, in ex yugoslav roma people have rights equal right like every one citizen of okay. ex yugoslav but after the war specific in, in bih with the uh, uh, dayton peace agreement we received the constitutive people bosniak serbs and uh, croats and in this regard roma people uh, is uh, 100 years ago discriminate but with now uh, new systems we are discriminate institutionally and racially because we don't have our political uh, representatives in high level or in parliaments separate parliaments in bih because i explained that we only have representatives in some municipalities but uh, this is uh, you know i i said Uh, the bih is uh, frankenstein uh, reconstructing country and uh, this country uh, cannot provide equal rights with this uh, constitution cannot provide equal rights for citizens whatever way you live in, in republic of serbia or in federation Uh, because the the constitute people fight fight for their rights they you know advantage and uh, it's too hard explain in short time but uh, racial discrimination is on the field uh, specific with uh, 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 each day increasing uh, 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 hate speech of course in uh, the war was a uh, lot of cases from hate crimes okay so you have to ombuds institute of institute of ombudsman and i think you were relating it to that if a complaint is mailed with the ombudsman then those health services can be extended to roma people 
so are we lacking somewhere as a community are we lacking somewhere to approach those authorities look, authorities look, and uh, benefit we are a job of an institution okay. i lot of time co contact them for the help okay but they uh, provide recommendation okay and who accept them no one okay you know okay. you have political side who don't respect the human rights court or okay. constitutional court state okay. constitutional court and okay. you know thank you uh, now uh, thank you very much mr sadik now uh, i think jamir you want to ask some question but be big uh, sure listen thank you very much uh mr darvo uh, you explained the you know the political legislations uh, very uh, very uh, in detail so there are a uh, laws uh, re regulating the rights to education employment and access to health and social protections and there are, there is also um, uh, the framework law on education in bih protecting the language and the culture of minority there is also a, a legislation regulating the rights of minority in bih so uh, and there is also one provision which i i, I was going through the uh, uh, some you know means the legal uh, 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 some uh, legal documents i find that there is a clearly mentioned uh, a international law will prevail over the national law in case of discrepancy in the contract or agreement or uh, you know the transgression and violation of the rights no. of the minorities so still uh, so what is the exact status on the grassroots level or in uh, in practicality so why where there is lacking behind because there is a very sincere intention from the government as there is uh, there are some problems with the constitutions which, uh, yes. you are you yourself is, are fighting for that uh, but where that uh, you know these laws are there in place however the violations is a very rampant and a common phenomena in uh, bih so i want your comments especially on these rights uh, thank you my friend on your question look accept the constitutional and election law in all other legislation you cannot find discrimination law is equal for everyone but implementation of the law is the problem this one and uh, under the years discrimination under the roma is problem you know uh, without job i cannot uh, provide for my family families the house i cannot provide for my family's food i cannot provide for my kids uh, normal uh, equipments for the education because the public and uh, uh, private company don't will Uh, take Roma workers because in BIH you have stereotype, you have discrimination in which non Gaje, non Roma people talking about the Roma like these people stealing, these pe people begging, these people don't like work. these people have tradition to don't send the kids in the school you know this stereotype is really high level and to each day is going to be in crisis uh actually in uh, uh, each day communication with institution you have discrimination in each day in the school our kids are discriminated uh, for example kalisara roma information center prepared the documents how to fight against the, the discrimination in the school we have law 
for uh, uh, anti-discrimination law. We have anti-discrimination law, but in this law, it's not regulate a lot of questions. For example, question on education. What happened after the my kids is under the discrimination, discrimination, and what is my mechanism to fight against this uh, discrimination? I regard in this question, Kalisara Roma Information Center prepared the a role and the program for uh, anti-discrimination specific in education. Uh, discrimination on the uh, employees, I said you that uh, the stereotype existing really, really long and really high because the people uh, don't accept us company peoples, business peoples, don't accept us like good workers, you know, like people who will have job and discrimination in the health is, you know, everyone doctors talk to you. We don't share the people or ethnicity level. Everyone, um, man or woman is equal for us, but it's not true. One example, in the project, how to fight against the uh, human trafficking. Kalisara prepared the trainings for uh, court, uh, prosecutor, and judice. judice yes. And we put them training against the stereotype discrimination, so, so, so. In this training, they uh, show so much discrimination, so much stereotypes and prejudices against the Roma, they are not uh, because they think that they, they were good, they do a job on good way. A uh, lot of people in BIH cannot recognize discrimination. What is the discrimination? Under the positive discrimination, people make so big cases discrimination because uh, in ex Yugoslavia, discrimination word that was prison, you know, verbal delict. In a new time, all people who is not educated on uh, discrimination, on human rights, on uh, this new, new, new systems and democracies, uh, there for them is normal that you know is like Roma. What is Roma? Gypsy. They begging. They stealing. They you know they thinking so. And this type of the discrimination under the Roma, uh, you can see in the every one area of the life, health, uh, social security, education. Uh, uh, employment, housing. For example, uh, Roma people who was returnees after the war finished, they cannot take his land, his uh, house back because they don't have documents about rights on this property. You know, in uh, ex Yugoslavia and ex time, you give the money, take house or the, the, the 
land and it is enough. But now you must have documents about this property. If you don't have, you cannot uh, back this property. You know, it's, it's really difficult and complicated system to solve some problem about, uh, let's say, property and legalization in basic your house. Um, it's difficult, it's long, it's uh, too expensive. You have in each municipality maybe 25,000 requests for legalization of some properties. They don't do that. They put on the site and, you know, maybe one, two case in the year they saw. Now is from uh, uh, European Union initiative to take opportunity to prepare some programs for IPA funds, how to solve this uh, legalization problem in BIH. To be to be really expensive, uh, to be really complicated. You know, in the war is change uh, situation on the field. Where they you living now, living some other people who is coming from other area, and in same time they cannot be back on uh, before uh, war on uh, this property, and you know. It's really difficult. For example, Annex Sedam from uh, 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 Dayton Peace Agreement, talking about returnees uh, and uh, uh, how to take your, uh, your, your, your uh, uh, land, flats, houses back, and how uh, the, the institution must provide help to you, but who is worried for that? No one. Uh, Mr. Sorry, Dabo, question too. Mr. Dabo, just wanted to know, when you say about that uh, right of property to the returnees, so is there any, uh, because returnees are from all communities, they may be Romas and non-Romas. So while providing the land rights to the returnees, is there any discrimination against Romas and it is being provided to other communities or it is similar to all of them, all returnees? Look, in this new time, really I thanks to international governments and the international community who support us okay. with the money, how to solve our problem with land, with houses and, you know. And uh, for example, my NGO Kalisara implement one IPA program, a fund from EU, uh, a fund, we reconstruct 300, uh, 300 houses for Roma with only one project. But uh, simple projects we implement with the budget money from state is not enough, but is some grant for Roma uh, implementation of action plans. But each year from the 2015, Still today, this grant is going down. For example, 2015, we have one half million of euro for solving some problems in uh, uh, health, education, housing, and employers. Today, we have 450,000 grants. It's, you know, political side. And okay, I, I can understand that this uh, 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 social and economical crisis in poor world uh, after the uh, pandemic. But if you don't have program how to solve this uh, post-crisis crisis, you cannot uh, uh, request the money from the European Union. A lot of time I heard from the European Union side Money is not problem. Political will in Bosnia is problem. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much, Mr. Sediak. Now I think we uh, give a last question to Mr. Puya because he has been saying that he has some important question. 
So we'll give uh, that as the last question and then we'll sum up the uh, conference. So Mr. Puya, you can uh, ask your question. Thank you very much, Mr. Rajesh. Uh, you're very kind to give me this opportunity. And thank you, Mr. Derbo. I just want to say, <clears throat> uh, dear friends, uh, this also to our Indian brothers and sisters, we saw what happened in the war of Russia and Ukraine when Indian students and African students in Ukraine were discriminated to go on the train to leave that country of war as the Ukrainian, European Ukrainians were the first people on board and Roma, uh, black people and uh, Indians were not allowed. This is open racism. And the same thing happened with the Ukrainian Roma uh, refugees coming to Czech Republic and they were kicked out and they accepted only the Anglo-Caucasian Ukrainians. Yes, now, yes, my yes. question is to Mr. Dervo. This is a serious situation here. Uh, yes. we, we saw what happened in the Czech Republic and uh, Hungary. They have a very discriminatory country and uh, they're very open to racism, open season to Roma. And I have to say that uh, many students, many Roma students are discriminated and they are sent not to normal public schools, but to schools with children with severe mental and physical disabilities. Yes. This is a slap in the face of European uh, anti-discrimination. Uh, these kids- Look, are sorry, sorry, I interrupt you. A uh, lot of narrative and reports I wrote about Roma refugees from Ukraine and what happened with Roma. In uh, Ukraine, in border, Ukraine, Poland, Czech Republic, Hungary, you have uh, nationalistic, neo-fascistic organizations, skinheads organizations who beat our kids and our mothers. A lot of time I wrote over the European Roma Parliament members, who is Roma from German, I make intervention. And a lot of meetings I had with ambassadors uh, from uh, EU countries and State Department ambassadors. I talking about this problem, you know. Uh, before the war, in the level in Ukraine, Roma has big, big, big problem with skinheads, with neo-fascistic and neo-nazistic the organization. And that Europe know. But I in the same time asked them why you you know do, what you do to stop this Russia discrimination and uh, fascistic discrimination under the Roma. Yes. Believe me. You have um, my um, Facebook, you have my Facebook, you can I will, I will, I will. intervention. Thank you very much. Very, very, very simple question I'm going to ask you. This is a very, very broad uh, topic that we probably have to discuss in a different future gathering regarding the discrimination in Ukraine because many Jewish synagogues uh, the, this, um, were vandalized and many Jewish graves were also destroyed under the Azov group. So I just want to say very briefly, in the... In, in, um, in the, in the Balkans, especially in Croatia, there was a concentration camp, uh, it's a Novak. Thousands of Roma, uh, Jews, and uh, Serbians were barbarically killed and murdered on Gustavo's support of Croats and also Bosnia, very part of it, uh, I would say, uh, and uh, Germans. So my question is, in uh, Bosnia and in Serbia, in these countries, the Roma are compensated, their ancestors, by what happened, the genocide that took place in Yasunovak, uh, or they haven't been paid any form of compensation for the hate crimes their ancestors received from the Gustavo Croats. And uh, is there a discriminatory uh, schools such that exist in Czech Republic and Hungary and Slovakia that the normal Roma children go to uh, kids with disabilities, which they're not disabled, but this is a 
uh, oh, mm -hmm. you know, this is an open racism. So my question is, does these two things, uh, the Roma has been compensated for Yasinovak or there are students in uh, Bosnia that go to these discriminatory schools? Um, that's all. Thank you. Yeah. Look, thank you. You have really good questions and the, the question is really on the topic. Uh, you heard, I hope, about Srebrenica genocide. All world heard about Srebrenica genocide. But who talking about Roma who killed in the Srebrenica? Bosnia, no one. 20 years ago, I fight with this question. More than 300 Roma peoples is killed in the Srebrenica. But our political people and institution don't talking about Roma uh, peoples who died, who victims, who was victims in this genocide. Uh, from Yasanovac, what you have today you have for each day uh, fighting for a uh, political point. Uh, lot of people go to visit this uh, uh, mem memorial centrum only to take political waters, not because he's really fight for human rights or satisfaction of uh, uh, victims. No, no, they fight for political points. Uh, situation after the, or situation in the second world, in the war in uh, ex-Yugoslavia and now in, in uh, Ukraine is simple against the Roma. Uh, I respect everyone victims because my wife died in the war. And not only because my wife died, I respect everyone victims because uh, unguilty peoples was killed. But if you're talking about Holocaust, for example, where is participating Jewish people, where is participating some other peoples who was victims in Kant's log or uh, uh, Yasenovats or uh, uh, um, I blocked other camps, Nazi other camps. All stories go to side of the of the Jewish people. I can understand five, six millions of the people is biggest number. But also we must respect everyone, unguilty victims who is killed. And everyone who do this kills and genocide must be uh, uh, in, in uh, prosecutor, in, uh, 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 how to say, uh, front of the court, must go in the prison or what is the sanction. Uh, it's a difficult question for uh, this type of the discussion, but okay, thanks for, for your question and topic themas. You know, uh, in uh, all Europe, you have day for remember see this, remember see this, remember see this. It only on this date, for example, 2nd August or uh, 27th uh, February in Europe talking about Roma victims. But 360 and more days, 
No one is talking about this. Because the political power of the Roma in Europe is low level. And why I a lot of time criticize our leaders, NGO and political leaders. We must be union. We must be solidar with each other. And only on this way we can provide our power to fight against every neo-nazistic, any fascistic, any uh, 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 skin hates things. Thank you. Thank you very much, <laughs> Mr. Sadiq, for an excellent presentation. Uh, you made on various questions were very educated and uh, one lot many, many new things uh, from your side and also about the initiatives taken by you personally and Ali Sara to deal with the discrimination against uh, the Roma community in uh, health, in education, and other sectors. And uh, we are very happy of your initiative to try and uh, strive for getting the uh, political power uh, for the uh, minorities in uh, Bosnia Herzegovina. And uh, you are accepting that there were uh, many initiatives undertaken by the government. And you talked about uh, the problem is more on implementation and not on laws on certain uh, this thing. And stereotype image, which has been created. Uh, uh, and I'm sorry, I cannot hurt you. I cannot understand you. Ask. Your mic. Your mic oh, okay. is problem no, for I'm me. Saying we are very thankful to you. Mr. Sadeva, you know what? Oh, yeah. Your voice is breaking. I'm not audible. Okay, let me see what's wrong. Little better. No, little better. It's okay now. Okay, let me. Uh, uh, I can't say. Anything. No, I'm uh, really thankful to you, Mr. Darvas Sadeva. for excellent presentation which was very educative you did mention about uh, the initiatives taken by you and Kali Sara for uh, handling the discrimination being faced by uh, the Romas and other minorities we really commend your initiative to get uh, political power to Roma and other minorities in Bosnia Herzegovina we uh, understand, as you explained, that the problem is more of implementation, the laws, not the laws itself. We are very thankful for to, uh, everyone for, uh, for their active participation and coming up with very interesting uh, uh, questions. We, uh, uh, we really would like you to join like this in our future uh, monthly lecture also with this i like to thank you all for your participation and taking time out from your busy schedule special thanks to mr darbo uh, and also to the people who gave their comments and observation and especially to mr nazir who did uh, explain to us a lot of issues regarding the documentations for roma in various parts of the euro with this i like to close the uh, conference and once again thank you to all for your participation and hoping to see you next month for some other, on some other interesting topic concerning roma bye bye thank you very much thank you my friends Raman, and thank you mr russia and all of you who participate on this meeting Thank you for your question. I hope that I give uh, 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 answers to you, <clears throat> but stay in touch and communicate over the email or other uh, 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 networks. Thank you very much for inviting me. Such and, a nice meeting. And, uh, do, uh, thank you very much. 
parikila thank you very much mr saidik and do keep us posted as and when you get a political political status in bosnia and thank you thank you thank you and all the best for the roma in india okay uh, i think there are more other countries my understanding roma Chai Indian, and, we are Indian Doma. We are Indian Doma, and okay. we value the suggestion given by. Okay. <laughs> Thank okay. you for all. Thank you for all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Darvo. Thank you very much. Dadiwa. Dadiwa. Dadiwa.